Now, Landville, if you had to guess between me and B. Mitch, if there was a segment titled after one of us, who wouldn't be there when the segment started? Who would you guess? Uh, first of all, I'm out trying to do some burgers, and you just sitting in here looking at social media. I am not. Yes, you were. I, I'm not. I was trying to. I was trying to get the golf. You off. were looking at I think social the golf media. Just started at NBC. This isn't social media. These are text messages. B. Mitch, the segment starts when B. Mitch shows up. It's a good point. Tell me before. Tell me you can't. Matthew. You can't ask B. Mitch anything without B. Mitch. It's it's fairly simple. I'm listening. Um. Let's start in Connecticut. Tim, ask B anything. Yeah. Hi. How you doing, man? Uh, Thanks for taking my call, um, and uh, congrats on your hole-in-one, B. Mitch. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Uh, For the past 15 years, the NFL has cut down on physical contact and tackling in preseason activities. My question for you, B. Mitch, is once uh, contact is reintroduced, Sometime in August, have you noticed a drop off in performance by some players and a marked improvement by other players, or does everyone seamlessly kind of flip the switch? I don't think everyone sw- uh, flipped the switch. I think the guys that are naturally v- physical and uh, violent, in a sense, on the field, they are still those people, even when they don't have pads on. So they they go at a different speed. There are guys that have developed this mindset that they're protected by the rules. And those are the guys that get uh, welcome to uh, a quick rude awakening when the season starts. And I think a lot of those guys do back up until they get back into it. Thanks for the call, Tim. Appreciate you, buddy. You, man. Um, I got a submission via Twitter, B. Captain Todd wants to know if you will go shark diving with him. No. Landfill? I'm not doing that. Why, why, no. would, I, why would I go jump into his feeding tank? I've gone shark diving. It was awesome. You were inside a cage? I was inside a cage. Yeah. Okay, so that's not shark diving. Shark diving is when you dive, going in a cage, you're protected. I don't know that I'm doing it without the cage. <laughs> but it's cool I'm to see. I'll let you know right now, I'm not getting in it without the cage. It's cool to see sharks, Yeah. like, in front of you. I don't go anywhere near sharks for any reason. What about the San Jose sharks? Nope. What about the Jets and the sharks? Nope. Okay. So I've settled that. Uh, Anthony is in D.C. Anthony, ask me anything. Hello, how you guys doing today? This is Anthony calling from D.C. Yep. Okay, what's up, man? What's up? Hey, so I got a question to be missed, man. Um, so our our names have been changing. They're talking about going to a different name. Uh, what do you think about the Washington Skins? Because 99% of Redskins fans only say Skins anyway and use the circle with the feathers in the back that have the Indian head in it, but use the Washington W as the logo. What you guys think about that? I don't think they're going nowhere close to that. Yeah, dude. They, you, skins is out. Skins, I mean, you can't fool nobody. <laughs> Thanks for the call, though. But, we appreciate you listening, but the Anthony. Whole thing was red skins was derogatory, so they say, but skins could also be used as pig skin, like like a football. It don't necessarily have to do with... You know with, what they could uh, do? Uh, I, I ask you a question, though. If they call them a skin, are you going to be thinking anything about a pig skin or a potato skin? They could put a, a <laughs> red skin potato <laughs> on the helmet. No, we're not, we're not no, doing I'm that. Not, no, I'm not being <laughs> made. That's what I'm saying. Thanks, dude. <laughs> so, let, let's just do this. As the name is concerned, the team starts winning, whatever their name is, Pink we'll tools. start liking. Um, I'm not going to go there anymore. We have an important caller. Who is that? Uh, Brittany. Hello, Brittany. How do you do? Hi. Good afternoon. Um, I actually don't have a question for Mitch, but I have a, um, a short story to tell you because I met Chris Russell this past weekend. Wow. And you guys just always give him such a hard time. So I just was calling to kind of uh, say he was very nice in person. Um, I am from Fredericksburg, and I met him at like a celebration of life for someone that I am my husband is related to, but he was very surprised that I knew who he was. Um, you know, those like cartoon characters that like have the big eyes and like their head flies back. That's uh-huh. what he did when I said, are you Chris Russell? Yeah. He, awesome. he, he had a pretty lady speaking to him. He was, he was shocked. <laughs> he was very shocked. Like he yeah. did not. Well, and I don't know if it's cause I'm like a female and he was like, why would you know? He literally said, how do you know me? And I was like, well, I listened to the radio. <laughs> 
That's right. Russell is afraid of women. But That's you know true. what? Everything that he, that we say about him is true, though, Brittany. He's a, he's I don't doubt ride. that. <laughs> I know. But he was very kind to me. He was very, like, thankful that I listened to the radio. And he said, well, just because you listen to the radio doesn't mean you know what I look like. And I said, well, I also have social media. So... Um, Lord knows Chris confused. Russell posts a lot of videos of himself on Instagram. <laughs> and they're awful, but they're there. A lot of poorly yeah, lit he, videos. <laughs> he was very um he was very recognizable and his voice is very recognizable, but um he was very kind. He was very uh, thankful that I, you know, said hello and you know, listened to everyone on the fan in 980. So I just great. I thought you would enjoy that because I, you I know do. you guys uh, uh, give him a hard Brittany, time. Brittany, can I ask uh, you a question since you live in Fredericksburg? My plan is to leave, to, to drive to North Carolina tomorrow morning early. If I'm trying to get through Fredericksburg by like 6.30, will I be all right? In the morning? Yeah. yeah you'll yeah. be good in the morning. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially if you're going south. Yeah. yeah. You'll okay. be good in the morning. But uh, yeah. don't, don't let 7.30 catch you. If you were to try to like leave right me. now, no go. Yeah, that was our plan was to leave after the radio show. Unless and I was you're like, me. Yeah. Well, it's good to be B, Mitch. It's I fly. JP trips. Um, Brittany, thank you for the call. Absolutely. You guys have a great thank weekend. You Happy Father's Day. All right. Thank you. Um, Rooster, ladies' man, clearly. Um, <laughs> Brian, I have a I have a question for you. What's the question? It's about my hose. Talk about your hose pipe. Come on. My hose in my backyard. Yeah. We're going to be out of town, and the weather's supposed to get super hot. Uh-huh. So I got this thing. I got this, like, timer to set the sprinkler off. Mm-hmm. But I, the hose is, like, so it, – it, I can't get it off the spigot or whatever you call that thing. Mm-hmm. What the hell do I do? Why do you want to take it off the spigot? Because I got to get this, like, timer thing in between the spigot and the hose. Because that lets the water go. So how about you just go get you a pair of pliers and, and do it? I tried pliers and a wrench this morning. So the joint wouldn't move. Uh, how about you get somebody that really has strength to do it because you're too weak? Do you want to come over? No. Who else has strength? Cody? You got your boy next door. He can handle it for you. You just you got those soft hands. Who's you always, my boy next door yeah. that can handle it? What's Greg? You always at his house. Papa? Yeah, Papa could do it. Papa... I guarantee you, Papa will get it done. And then you come back and tell us when you get back that he gets it done. Papa's playing golf. He's in the member member that I'm not in because all I do is work. No, please. The thing you don't do is work. You you're a complainer. So you kind of like Rooster a little. You're bit. officially just giving me no, no, no how, expertise. How did it get I'm on so B Mitch something? How did it get on so tight? I don't know. I honestly think Lauren did it. Well, maybe get Lauren to take it off. I did spray it with WD forty. Okay, it may come off when you get home. Landfill, did you, you turn the water off before you tried to unscrew it? Yes. Sure? I tried a wrench, Greg. I tried a wrench. Now, I did watch a YouTube video. Apparently, I need a vice grip wrench. Which That's I don't, what I'm saying. You need the pliers, I might go to the hardware store. The pliers store. I'm telling you to get should be something that could clamp and you can really turn that has some lint to it. Instead of having a little pair of pliers, you're not going to be able to. No, I had a legit wrench that, like, opens up, but it doesn't lock. So that's the type of wrench you were trying to open it with? First, I tried my hand. My I think hand every work. time you say stuff like that, Georgetown and Maryland want their... their I tried their a wrench. real wrench. But you can't do It didn't do have a, a vice grip, You though. can't do a real wrench on a, a circular thing with the real wrench that goes in the kind it's of It's not circular. It's like hexagonal. He- hexagonal. Okay. And it wouldn't work? It has hard edges. But it wouldn't work? I couldn't get it to twist, dude. You're weak, dog. You need to start running. It's start lifting instead of running. I've been lifting. Look at this for the stream. Look at that thing. Looks terrible, dog. Landfill, what'd you think of my hose question? Uh, I was wild. Do you think I'm going to be able to get this fixed? Yeah. If you get somebody else, that's uh, get a manly man to come do it for you. Do you think, what is the dollar <laughs> amount I would have to pay Stallion to go by my home and water the grass? Seven bucks a day? Hey, I know who could do it for you. Cody. Cody's strong enough, and he wants to hang out at your house. Nah, Lauren won't be We're there. out of wine. We're out of wine. And he's not about this. <laughs> find out how much I would have to pay Stallion to come by my home and water my grass. Because I'll I find may, out. I may do that. How many days would you need it? Every day? Realistically, you probably only need, like, every other day. Or every yeah. third rain? day. It's not supposed to rain. It's supposed to be, like, 95. All right. And my boy from Simply Turf did a great job with this sod in my backyard. It's actually sticking, and I don't want to mess it up. 
Yeah, you got to water that. Toby, are <laughs> you available for grass watering? I start the bidding at seven dollars. Hey, Cody, Cody, Toby. say yes. Available. Toby, say yes. Go over because you probably go over and just unscrew it, put the thing on, and then all of a sudden he got to pay you because you watered the grass. That's true. You want thirty five dollars a day. How much would it cost, Toby? My uh, house is roughly on the way in from your house to the office. I don't know that that's roughly on the way in. I don't know that. Where going... do you live, Chantilly? Yeah. Uh, Paul Henry said, "Just let your wife do it." That's tough coming from Paul. That one hurts. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Ch- Bethesda is definitely on the way from Chantilly to downtown. No, it's not. It's definitely out of the way. It's not even remotely close. I I'm closer to on the way from Landfill's house. No, you're not. Nobody has to cross that damn bridge. Landfill, but you. What is the dollar amount it would take you to come water my grass? Twenty five thousand a day. <laughs> yeah. uh, if you give me one fifteen a day, I'd do it. One fifteen. However many degrees it is outside, that's how many dollars you owe me that day. <laughs> uh, let's go to Vinny and Seat Pleasant. <laughs> Vinny, <laughs> ask me anything. How you doing, JP? What's going on? How you doing, B Mix? What's up, brother? How you doing, man? All right. All right. All right. You got a uh, little scenario for you, B Mix. Now uh, I know you're a great punt returner, but um, in this case, you're the coach. All right. Now you have it's fourth quarter, 18 seconds left. Um, you have three elite returners on your team. I'm gonna give you the three. You have Deion Sanders, Devin Hester, and Dante Hall. Mm-hmm. Who are you putting out there to get at least into field goal position to win a game? I'm gonna put Devin because Devin going upfield. Dante and Deion did a lot of dancing. Can can we be frank here? Deion's arguably the greatest corner of all time, certainly, but. <laughs> Even Dion and D Hall, both good players, both good returners, don't touch Hester in the return game. He said Dante Hall. Dante Hall. Okay. You I, saw, I thought he said yeah. D'Angelo. Your ears are a little too big for you not to listen to. Them. I have headphones on. <laughs> they block my I, I would put, I would put, I would put in Hester. Hester too. Because I, like, when he gets the ball, what I always loved about him, he was always moving upfield. You know, it wasn't a ton of dancing with him. And the other two guys can get you a lot, but. They can lose a lot, but all the change of direction that they did. Okay. Thanks yeah. for the call, Vinny. Yeah, I was going. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you, no problem. Take That's care, man. Um, Good question. I like that question. I think landfill. But ultimately, I would have put myself in there, though, seriously. Uh, <laughs> I think you deserve to be in that conversation. <laughs> uh, frankly, I think. Well, you can't, you, you can't ask a man. So if you, it's a, uh, you don't choose yourself. And Dante Hall, he had that incredible run where I think he had a return for like 10 straight weeks for a touchdown or something. But weren't more of his returns on kicks, on kickoffs? He did punt and kickoff. Okay. But, yeah. Okay, so he had it, dead even. Six career punt return touchdowns, six career touch uh, kick return touchdowns. Mm-hmm. But um, I would put you ahead of everybody but Hester. Uh, Scott, I'll put is me it, even with Hester out there. JP. Fine. I put you with Hester. Hello? Come come unscrew my host. Catching all of them. Scott is in Falls Church. Scotty, what up? Hey, JP, just uh, wanted to know, when was the grass installed? Brother, I don't know. <laughs> last <laughs> month ago, two months ago, 21 days ago. I think last fall. I think last okay, fall. Okay, so. The roots have taken, You need huh? to just water it every other day. We'll be fine for, for an hour at a time. And then just, you just need to make sure you get it. Everything done. An hour? Yeah. He, he tried to water for how long? <laughs> well, well, the, whole, the whole yard, you need to get at least like a, an inch or a quarter of an inch of water down. All right. But I, listen, Scott, I appreciate you calling. I appreciate you listening to the program. My issue is not how much to water, how often to water. I can't unhook the hose is the problem. I told you, get a manly I, man to come do it for you. It's because right. you got a vasectomy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs> are there any manly men available to come to my home and service me, Landfill? Uh, what, are you turning it the right way? That's a fair question. <laughs> <laughs> are you going left or right? Left. You sure? I, it needs to be left, right? It needs left. to be left, but you, I, knowing you, you're probably doing the wrong thing. I hope so badly that he's just turning it the wrong <laughs> way. Just tightening Listen, the hell out of it. He doesn't really know what he was doing. I believe I was turning it the correct way. It's I also like how do you determine fly. left versus right when something's like down at your feet? Like it's kind of weird. Uh, if it's at your feet and it's going up, you gotta think. 
Move it to your left, huh? Here's left. what we need you to do. When you go home, try turning it the other way. Yeah, and if that works, <laughs> we're going to make fun you, of you, you forever. You can't go on vacation. Charlie's in college. Park. Family Hello, go. Charles. Hey, you got me there? I yeah. got you, bud. JP, Chantilly ain't nowhere near Bethesda, man. I don't know what's going on with it's you. It's on the way to D.C., though. Yeah, you, well, yeah. It you has, has nothing to do with D.C. All right, here's the thing. Here's JP. Go to your neighbor. Go to somebody. First, ask for a pair of vice grips, like Brian said. If nobody has vice grips, see if they got a pair of channel locks, which are adjustable pliers. That's what the dude on the YouTube video had. I need some of those. All right, now, where do you live in Bethesda about? I'm giving your address away and everything. Chuck, I'm not going to say that on the radio, buddy. You say without okay, not just going to say like the neighbor, because I say if I come to your house, it's going to cost you 20 bucks. To water the grass? Well, if you want me to do that too, yeah. I 20 bucks a day for somebody just to come water the grass and then me not have to deal with getting the hose off might be worth it. No, 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 no. If I come here, I'm getting the hose off. All right. Give Toby your phone number. You might have a deal, Charles. <laughs> Thank All you right. for calling. Uh, Demarius is in Maryland. What up, D? What's up, D? Hey, what's going on, B. Mitch and Finley? Love the show, long time listener. Thank, Thank you, buddy. buddy. Hey, so you know, you had a call, you had a caller a few calls ago saying that the, the name should be Washington Skins and we know that's not going to work, but it got me thinking. We could bring all the logos back, even do the logo he said with the circle with the feathers and the W in it, but instead of Washington Skins, call them the Washington Original, and you can even have a nickname the Washington OG. That would be hard. It would be. I just think that all like the that. stuff, like, like it, we are all trying to change it by keeping what was, and I think what was is not coming back. Seriously. Thank you for the call, D. Appreciate you listening. But I like the OGs. I kind of like the OGs. I like that. That's, that's of sweet. all the suggestions, I like that one. 